What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, we have another Game of Thrones of Card Games, second edition tournament video from the Black Knight Game Store Championships in Hamilton, Ontario, brought to you by these awesome supporters of the channel that back us at patreon.com forward slash Rob's Gaming Table. In this video, we also have uh, myself, Rob, from Rob's Gaming Table, playing Greyjoy Reigns again, against Kevin, playing Martel Wolf. So, King of Swiss, again, second tournament in a row. Uh, the previous Rochester tournament, you guys saw the video series for. I went undefeated, I'm pretty sure, in Swiss in that one, and then undefeated again in Swiss in this. And here I am in another top four game. Will the curse get me again? Stay tuned and find out. We have Kevin here. Kevin Austin, friend of the channel. You guys know Kevin from the Facebook group. First guy to post every spoiler, because, you know, it's very busy at work, obviously, and... Seems to catch every single thing FFG posts and posts it immediately. Yeah, that's right, Kevin. I called you a slacker. All right. So I have uh, Baby Theon there, Lord's Port Shipwright, Iron Mines, and Iron Fleet Scouts, and a Rose Road. He has Arion. Looks like a Dornish Fiefdoms. And I didn't see the other one there. Oh, it's a uh, Water Gardens. And I'm playing a Noble Cause into his building orders. He's searching for an attachment or location. And he grabs a Rose Road. Seemed to be the only thing he could grab there. So for some reason in my head, at this point, I, I remember now, I was thinking Water Gardens like, did some reduction right off the bat, but I forgot it was the used plot pile business. So in my head, I kept thinking he could do more with it at the very beginning of the game, but uh, it's not really a threat at this moment. So you might see it throw me off a little bit here at some point. Uh, so it looks like he made me first player, and I use the Lord's Port Shipwright as my first action and kneel down his Dornish Fiefdoms. Don't want him getting that two extra gold from it. Try to choke him out a little bit here. And I'll get a C tower for myself as my limited. And what lord or lady do I have coming in here? Looks like I have a nightmares in hand. That'd be something useful against Arion to pin her in play and kill her with a valor would be nice. <laughs> Living the dream, you know, if, if I can do it. Yeah, see, I, I, I'm getting thrown off here, but it. Yeah, so I'm gonna read. The, <laughs> I'm gonna read the card. To actually, figure out what it really does. I was trying to think of all the possibilities with it right now, but really, it's doing nothing, so I shouldn't have to care. But it's gonna, it's gonna get me later, I'm sure, as it usually does with venomous blades. Or Stark Heron Halls. <laughs> And there's Euron. And it looks like I got a bodyguard ready there in hand. Probably should just play that on him, keep him safe there. Sort of. It's great against Varus. Keeps him in play just like a dupe would in that case. Which in my mind, I'm no Kevin, and when he's playing the Banner Wolf and the Martell control, there's usually a Varus involved. So over to Kevin for his marshalling. He's got four gold to work with. He's got Arion to bounce if he wants to drop a character in later. He's going to start with a Blood Orange Grove for his limited. So he's got a dupe of Arion in hand. Sounds like I said I have six cards in hand there. Which just happens to be my reserve. Excellent, excellent. Well, we're waiting for Kevin to marshal. If you guys haven't already, I do appreciate it. If you subscribe, it helps out the channel a lot and it's free. 
And he dupes Arion here, plays uh, Niels Blood Orange Grove. And one gold for a Gaston Gray. And gets a Venomous Blade in there. And puts a Poison Token. Poison Token on my shipwright. I thought he... I thought he would do it on Theon. But, uh, yeah, it's printed cost two or lower, not strength, I thought. And I'm going to save the shipwright, because Gash and Grey is a thing, and I want to kneel it. So that seems worth it to me. Might be a dumb play. I don't know what you guys think, but I was also thinking of keeping the body on the board for, like, sack crap from Ramsey Snow, who I saw earlier on the day, as you guys saw in the video, where I played against Jeff running Lannister Wolf. So I was feeling that it'd be very similar to that. So keeping dudes on the board just helps protecting against marched and the sacking and all that crap that goes on trying to whittle your board down to nothing. Looks like I'm debating the military here for two, but maybe not. Yeah, two strength military. have to adjust the camera there. Uh, I'm sure Alex bumped into it. No big deal though. I'm sure we'll see that in the next episode. <laughs> yeah. And no defenders on the military. Uh, if he, is he going to pop the gas and gray on me here? I'm hoping. I'm trying to get him to do it. He won't do it. Unopposed. Claim is the dupe off Arion, of course. I'm running through a possibility here of the Gas and Grace sending uh, Euron back to hand and how bad that would be for me. And could I play him back out? Also, I would lose an Intrigue from Arion. So that would be bad to have Euron sitting in hand. It could be plucked on Intrigue. <laughs> it might not be the smartest play. So I'm going to do nothing and pass over to him. This Gaston Grey worked. And now he does an Intrigue for, I think, five. I think it's plus one off of uh, Venomous Blade. Could be plus two. I, I don't remember. Winning on the defense is okay. <laughs> if I can here, I can buff Euron by two with the Iron Fleet Scout. But then I keep thinking he might bounce Arion to hand and drop someone in, and I have to deal with that. And it could be military. But I am okay. I will Nightmares Arion and trap her in play. Don't know if that's the best use of nightmares, but in this situation it feels okay, so I don't have to take a military to the chin. And I'll pillage Maester Kaliot, and no locations to steal with your own. And we tie for Dom. So do I Valor here? I feel like I want to, but I don't know if it's smart, but he'll get the Venomous Blade back, I believe. I don't think it's Terminal. Maybe it's Terminal. I don't remember. Mm. 
No, it's not terminal. And it is plus one strength. And it's printed two strength or lower. Yeah, so it could have got Theon. Not cost, it's strength. So it could have got Theon there, but he chose to try to get the Lord's Port ship right. Doesn't want him controlling the Gaston Greys there. Makes sense. Could always get Theon later with it since he usually can cycle. Especially when it's on Arion, who can bounce back to hand. You can get the Venomous Blade back and then just play it back out uh, the next round. I remember having that happen to me at Hardhome uh, Battle of, or whatever it's called, Battle of Hardhome Tournament uh, held by Brad Iyer last year. I remember learning the whole, watching the Venomous Blade bounce happen over and over again, destroying my little guys. So he hits trade routes with his Varus Riddle, and we're both going to get Econ here, which kind of sucks, but I think he was trying to hit my Counting Coppers. I think trade routes is still good. Still good. So we both get eight gold off the trade routes. And I'm going first again. And I think I'm going to... Do I do Gash and Grey, or do I take down Dornish Fiefdoms? He's going to have enough money to do whatever he wants, so I probably should take down Gash and Grey. But if I'm going to do Fiefdoms, I need to do it now. That's the problem. Otherwise, he'll just kneel it after I do something else. Yeah, I'll do Gash and Grey just in case. Some way of getting the ship right out of play. And then he will get two gold off his Fiefdoms. And I collect my Econ there, of course, in the wrong order. And I play a Rose Road for my limited. So Dagmar wants to come shopping for locations. He's got to win attacking alone, though. I want that uh, Gash and Grey would be nice. So I don't have to deal with it. Dornish, no, I can't take Dornish Fiefdom. It's limited. But I can take Water Gardens. I think that, yeah, that's not limited. And, of course, there's Dirk on Dagmar. I give him plus two strength buff there to maybe help him win those challenges attacking alone. And I get another Lord Support ship right. And sit on two gold. I should have, with that Lord's Port ship right, I should have knelt the Dornish fiefdoms first. And then if, I just guess I didn't realize I had another Dornish, or uh, Lord's Port ship right in hand, then I could have just knelt the Gaston Grey after that. That was kind of dumb, but I mean, what does he have there? 10, 15 gold, so I could have made it so he only had 13. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I debated doing the water gardens, I think, but uh, I'll just hold off on it. <clears throat> so he is going to use it, though, to pay for a Heron Hall for one. <laughs> or pay, reduce a Heron Hall by one. It looks like he's got a Stark Heron Hall in hand there. Three for a second Venomous Blade, actually. And there he goes. Goes after Theon. I forgot it was not unique. Arion's a six strength now. Fun times. It's like I have a Risen and a Priest of the Drowned God in hand. Yeah, 
third husband's foot gold. And for five gold, he's got Nymeria on the board. Able to steal an icon from me every round. And then four for a Stark Heron Hall. Dirty. I'm debating an Iron Mines on Little Theon here. Got a Risen in hand I could use, but that's not good on Theon. I'll just kill and save my saves for other targets. And he takes military off of Euron. Now he's got five gold, and I totally wasn't paying attention here. I was thinking Dagmar can go over and steal that Heron Hall. Why did he leave it open like that? And I was not thinking, or I was thinking Arion could bring someone in, plus plus Nymeria, and then he blocks me there. But I totally forgot about Ario Hota. And uh, yeah, he's a thing. <laughs> Normally people don't play him for uh, five gold straight up. But even him with Arion, yeah, that, that would work. But I got to try. Got to force it, right? I don't know if I want to use up the power of military. He's got no military, or yet. He's my only military icon, so I should use it for that, I think. And it does force Arion to bounce back to hand is also what I'm thinking. That uh, if a character's going to come out, might as well get rid of Arion now, which she can't defend on the military. Make her kind of useless. And it forces Arion back to hand, which sucks because he gets the Venomous Blades back. But let's see what he does here. Pretty sure it's Hota, though. Just straight up for five. Yep. Straight up for five and knocks um, Dagmar out of the challenge. And now he's got enough military to win one of his own. But an intrigue's a thing. So I'm going to do a six strength intrigue with Euron, which he can defend with six with Arion. And then bounce her back to hand if he wants after the challenge. Got the gold save there, but I don't think I have a weed or not so, so there's no discarding uh, Heron Hall. But in my head, I'm thinking he's got to stop the unopposed. He can't just let it go through like that. So he'll probably defend anyway, and I'll still win. And maybe I get lucky with a pillage location off the top of the deck and jack it with Euron. But right now, there's no locations in the discard pile. And he knows he's got to block. He also has to stop the range trigger, too. That's another thing. So six to six, I win, and uh, we're going for claim. What can I hit? And it grabbed an Aria, which is a great flea bottom target. Putting that in there, but hopefully it doesn't get flea bottom going. And a bastard daughter also a flea bottom target. No location though, darn. And now you can just do a military unless he's got something to jump in. And let's unopposed military. And I think I'm gonna claim the. Standing shipwright. Keep the one out there that's two strength. Yeah, I'll claim him. I don't think I need to save it for dominance. Doesn't seem like it makes any sense because he's got Hota stand there for five. So he takes dominance. And then I'm looking across at his board and realizing he didn't put Arion back to hand. He's got Hota sitting out there in Nymeria. That feels like a valor to me. If I can kill Arion. I'm living the dream, and if I can get Hota killed so he can't bounce in from Flea Bottom crap in the future, that seems like a win-win to me. And I've seen him play his Varus Riddle already, so I don't have to worry about the double Valor. I have two saves at least. Uh, well, no, three with the Bodyguard. So Risen in hand, Bodyguard, and Iron Mines on the board under the glare there. I apologize for that. Um, 
but three saves. Worst case, at least I saved somebody. So I do go Valor. He goes Marched. And that's a problem because... But he has three uniques on the board, so he's got to choose. Maybe he wants March to go off first. Maybe he wants to go off after. So let's see what Kevin chooses here. I'm sure he was just trying to march uh, to get rid of my Lord Sport ship right there. That way two of them are gone. And then his Gash and Grey can protect him. His Heron Hall can kill any big dudes I put in play. Really wish I saved that Nightmares now. <laughs> For that Heron Hall, my god. So he is going to go first, uh, and he chooses Valor, so all three of his guys will die there. I Risen on uh, Dagmar, he doesn't cancel that, so I carry on with the Bodyguard off Euron and an Iron Mines on the Lord Sport Shipwright, and then March the Lord Sport Shipwright. And I have one card in hand here. It's a Priest of the Drowned God. And I draw two cards. And now he's forced to go first. He's got four gold. He's getting one gold off of Dornish Fiefdoms. Got the water gardens that get him a reduction on non-character cards for two, I believe, at this point, and a blood orange grove there to help. So he's gonna get the one there. Oh, he's actually got six, seven. Yeah, I forgot about the rose road down there too. He's got five. And what's he gonna play here? And he gets another fiefdom out there to get him one gold back. He's going to sit on the rest of the gold. What? What? So interestingly, nothing else to play. I guess my Valor caught him off guard there. Maybe he drew into some uh, uniques that are now dead. Or he just has tricks in his hand that that, uh, that gold can be better spent on. But I also have no claim right now, so even if he could put out something small, but maybe he's worried that it couldn't stop the range trigger to flip out of claim. So he didn't kill the Iron Islands Fishmonger. I used that to reduce a Priest of the Drowned God. Give him the option for Heron Hall here, which I'm hoping he takes, and he doesn't, and then I dupe Euron. And get an empty hand, and save two gold. And over to him. Four challenges. <laughs> so I'm talking about having no cards in hand at this point, but not worried because I'm sure I'll get some back to hand after Gaston Gray sends them there. And he takes my Intrigue icon with the Dornish Spy. Okay, water Gardens for his action, uh, and he passes his challenges to me. So we can ambush in a Venomous Blade, I think, still here. <laughs> so he's made it so I can't do a range trigger now. Uh, oh, no, I can't. Because Iron Fleet Scouts only gives me one right now because I'm going second. 
and that guy's only a three. So too bad, so sad. So I'm gonna try to do an intrigue anyway to hit his hand. Makes sense. Okay, no defenders on the intrigue. Oh yeah, hitting his hand. Uh, I have no claim. Not gonna happen. Now Dagmar can replace claim and steal location. The only problem is, Gash and Gray will send him back to hand very quickly. But then that might be okay. I wouldn't mind uh, the Corsair's Dirk back in hand and Dagmar back in hand, and maybe then can do a challenge with Euron. And he still would get pillage, and I could then steal Gash and Gray out of his discard pile. So that's not the worst thing in the world. And depending on if I play uh, an Econ plot next turn, I could easily pay for Dagmar again. And he's going to Venomous Blade. And he's going to do it on the Priest of the Drowned God, Poison Token, end of the phase, they will die. Unless I save them, but I have no saves. Can't stay hostage to the Gash and Grey forever. Sometimes just gotta walk into it, which I think I'm gonna do here. The only problem is he still has Stark Heron Hall, so me trying to play Dagmar again is just going to get Dagmar killed. So maybe this is dumb here. <laughs> now that I look back on it. And I'm going second, so he gets a Gash and Grey trigger first, so this is really dumb. I should have probably waited until I was going first to do this kind of stupid stuff. But I'm trying to force him to use the Gash and Grey anyway. He's going to block the military for three. Four. I have seven. So I win. He's going to send Gash and Gray, or send him back to hand with Gash and Gray. So I get the Dirk back. Risen goes to the discard pile. And now I do a challenge with Euron. Power challenge. And that'll go unopposed. There's no claim, but he just took a power away. And Flea Bottom comes off the top of the deck. Oh, take the flea bottom, Rob. Take the flea bottom. Yeah, once I see the targets in there, I got to take flea bottom. <laughs> Alex O'Shea is saying he doesn't want me to win because he's uh, he remembers the first year of second edition where I had like five store championship wins. So he's like against me. He's my enemy. <laughs> Basically, he's saying, <laughs> thanks, Alex. <laughs> I don't care as much as I did in the first year of Thrones anymore. I just try to have fun now. If I win, I win. Whatever. No pressure. <laughs> Basically, there was a moment uh, after I won the regional in Pittsburgh... Last year, I think, or the year before. I can't remember what year it was. 2016, maybe? I never thought I'd ever win a regional in Thrones at that point. I did. And it was like 67 players, beat James Booker in the finals. It felt really good. And that was like an ultimate high. It felt just great. I never, ever thought I'd win a tournament that big. And, uh, yeah, I did. So I kind of, after that, was just like, all right, I feel like I've achieved the top that I'll ever achieve, and I kind of just gave up and uh, just tried to have fun beyond that. Never never got too serious after that, after that regional season. And then I won Canadian Nationals last year, and I don't know how the hell that happened, but that was a smaller tournament, so it wasn't as big of a deal in my mind. Yeah, it was Nationals, but I still think that Pittsburgh Regional had some good players there, really good players there. So, But just the bigger amount of players, too. Some of the players I had to play, yeah, both were pretty great, I think. But, yeah. Ever since that, and winning nationals now, yeah, I just, well, like, I don't know if I want to put in enough effort to try to win anything higher. Um, so I just try to have fun with it, get there, film some videos, have some fun with the guys. But yeah, everyone's out to get me since I won Canadian nationals now. 
I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. All right, we got a Lord Support, uh, or sorry, a uh, Iron Islands Fishmonger coming into play there. And then he kneels the Dornish Fiefdoms, get two gold off that. No use to Stark Heron Hall yet. I'm hoping he uses it, but he's not. It's made me first player. Really wish I kept Dagmar on the board here. But getting Flea Bottom, man. Getting Flea Bottom. I think that was worth it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. Let me know if that was the right play to let Dagmar go back to hand there. Yeah, see, bitch. Oh, see, bitch. Or no, it's Asha's. It's Asha's ship, I think. Is it? Yeah, it's Asha's ship. My bad. Asha's ship. Never mind. I thought it was Sea Bitch. Wow, that'd be amazing. Pull Heron Hall over. Can't use it on me. Maybe I'll do that in a future turn if I see my Sea Bitch. I forget. Yeah, that'd be great against Dark Heron Hall. So he plays a Green Blood Trader. He's going to look at the top two cards. Put one, put it in his hand. The other one on the bottom of the deck. I save at least a gold there I have on my plot cards. So I can use the Flea Bottom if I have a target in my discard pile, which at this point I don't know if I do. That's the least of my worries. At least he doesn't have a Flea Bottom. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. And I'm sitting at 7 power. He is at 1. Should be at 2 because I didn't have Claim. I, I Yeah, he took that power off for Claim and... Uh, I think I only took on opposed power. Maybe I took claim. I don't know. I think about it. I don't know. Let me know if I'm a dirty cheater in the comments below. But I'm pretty good. You guys can see it in videos in the series. I remind my opponent when I have no claim usually. I stop. I've had po opponents put their hands out for letting me discard cards. And I remind them usually if I catch it. But sometimes I don't. So there's another Venomous Blade. Fun times. Puts a poison token on my Iron Islands Fishmonger. And wards my other Fishmonger. Dirty. So Euron is going to be exposed here. That's gross. So Fishmonger's dead. All right, Euron, it's all on you, man. You got to do this all by yourself. Got to fight these three weenies across the board. Thinking about a reigns trigger here, if possible. Looking at my reigns plots, trying to see if anything's even possible. Yeah, just a ship right for flea bottom. The one that got marched earlier, now that I remember that. Yeah. So at least that's something that can die for military claim. Um, instead of Euron's dupe there. Is that a second Iron Fleet scout I have there? I think I have two of them. So I mean, I can get Euron nice and buffed up to like uh, 12 strength if I want. So I definitely can do the reins, but... What is that really getting me? I could get a Gash and Gray if I win the challenge and stand your own back up with the stand plot. Maybe I got a Raiding the Bay of Ice. I can kneel one of those warships and send Heron Hall to the top of the deck and pillage it off. That would be a dream scenario. But, uh, yeah, let's see how I handle this. This does not look good for me at all, especially if he's playing another March next turn. I could be screwed. I feel like uh, I am. We'll see. So an 8 strength intrigue. Plus 2 off the course there's Dirk. He has... He's got 6 over there. Those two Venomous Blades. He's given a plus 1. He's going to defend for 2. Allows me to trigger reins. And don't forget to steal a gold rob with the Dirk. So I will steal a gold with reins, or uh, with the Dirk. Get two gold. And now it's reins time. 
I should stand him back up, I think, is the play. Or I could uh, could play the Neil plot, kneel down the Dornish Spy. I mean, that uh, gets rid of Mill icon hitting me back, but I could also just stand and try to defend it with Euron or stop him from even attacking if he doesn't want to walk into Euron. So here we go, entry claim. And it's a Bran in the discard pile with flea bottom. That's where I want to see him. And I get Renown and Pillage. And I'm going to get Gash and Gray, so I don't have to deal with that. And I draw off of uh, Ash's boat there, since it's a location. So Gash and Grayson on my side is, you know, I'm, I don't really want to send anything of his back to his hand usually because it all has come into play effects. So I'll probably just sit on that so he can't play another one of his own. Now I only have to worry about Stark hair and all. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Got nothing else to grab out of the discard pile off of Euron now. So maybe I just hold him there and play defensively. Or I try to steal that other gold if I can. Just to prevent him from doing any other tricks. And then just flea bottom in the shipwright for military claim. Military? And I'm going to do a military here for six. Probably just kill my Iron Islands fishmonger there. But that gets rid of a power icon. That's fine. I'm sure he'll kill his green blood trader though to get the Venom's Blade back to hand. So I steal the gold with, of course, there's Dirk. And yep. He sends a Venomous Blade back to hand. Kills the Green Blood Trader. I get another Renown on Euron. I don't think that stuff will be staying around too long. I can't remember, but uh, it's a 9 power now. And get a Last of the Giants off the deck. And might as well steal a... Yeah, buffing up the trade routes. That's all I'm doing there. <laughs> and he comes in with the power challenge with my Chud. Echoes unopposed. At least it's not a military claim. And I see he was trying to block my unopposed, I forgot. So I, I need to push with Euron there anyway. Cause so he doesn't fear the uh, We Do Not Sow on the Heron Hall. So that makes sense. I, sh I was good being aggressive there. Uh, I was smart. I totally wasn't thinking of that right now. But I probably thought about it on the, uh, at, the, at the time. Ugh, please don't march. Please don't march. Please tell me he doesn't have another one. Play a Valor. Play Valor. I'm fine with Valor. Just don't play March. Either Valor. <laughs> oh, man. Does he just march me here? I'm ready. Are you ready? And he does. Oh, so gross. Disgusting. Uh, trade routes, though, is going to get me lots of money. Euron goes just to the discard pile. So if I get another copy, I can play him. And I get Corsair's Dirk back. And, hey, he stole... Uh, Stole a Gash and Gray, that was good. And he marches my Fishmonger on his side, of course. So 16 plus 4 gold for my Rose Roads and Plot. So 20 gold to work with. So hopefully I can just play something and he kills it with Heron Hall and then I can continue playing a normal turn with 20 gold. Feels okay. Even if a 7 coster gets killed. I should be able to play something else. It's just how much do I have? I only have like four cards in hand, so... Ugh. Oh, let's see here. What, what, oh, man. <laughs> Hate that Stark Heron Hall. Holy crap. Oh, no. I got more than, more than four cards. I got like six there. What do I have? What do I have? I'm sure I'll have a gold for Fleet Bottom at least. <laughs> so I do a Sea Tower. He kneels the Fiefdoms. Discover 
So C Tower basically I got like 21 econ. If I had Martel cards, that Blood Orange Grove would help me out too, but it doesn't. <laughs> so I'm looking at my hand. I have like Asha there. I got Dagmar. I don't know what else is in my hand. I think Victorion maybe. Silence Screw or something. So I gotta, I gotta strategically do this in the right order. So if he kills something with Heron Hall, I can play what I really want to play after. But I put the decision on him. So let's start with Dagmar. Seven cost Dagmar. And six gold for Dagmar since I kneeled the Sea Tower. And now I really want him to Heron Hall. Six more cards. So I had seven cards to work with. So pretty good. So he's not going to Heron Hall. I'm not killing your one of Dagmar, so you can pop an Ash with two. <laughs> he won't kill Dagmar because he knows it's one of in my deck, probably. Uh, which I don't know if it is, actually. I, see, I usually run at least two. And, uh, yeah, he's going to save it to kill Asha with uh, the dupes that I'm going to play eventually. That's what he thinks. And he gets two more gold with the Dornish Fiefdoms. So I, I separate it into two piles of seven more gold here. I was gonna do this to be funny, and then I totally forgot after. I was gonna do it like when we did the back and forth locations. Like, I'll kneel this. You're like, I'll get my gold. I'm like, screw you. <laughs> screw you. I'll get my nothing. It doesn't affect you. Blizzard grabs a grave from hand. You're like, if you have secrets somehow and can steal this one. Yeah. yeah can't I'm steal it. Just can't, in case. So I kneel the Blood Orange Grove just in case he can steal it somehow. <laughs> oh, man. King Balon. And he's gonna start Karen Hall the King Balon. And jokes on him. What he had feared is Asha with dupes, and here comes Asha with dupes. <laughs> and you hear the laughter from the audience. He could have had. Yeah, it's like either or. Yeah. I think it's just hilarious that he called. When you said it, I was like, you motherfucker, who is behind me telling me the best one? Ah, poor Kevin. All right. So now he collects his econ though, which isn't too shabby. I think he's got nine gold to work with. Plus a juicy water gardens to help him afford another Stark Heron Hall if he wants. Or a Venomous Blade again, which you know he has in hand. But at least he can't play Gash and Grey to send one of these guys back to my hand and then Her Stark Heron Hall out there to prevent me again uh, from marshalling them. But Balon's in the dead pile. I think he's the one of in this deck. Uh, at this time, so that's uh, that's fine, I guess. And there's Ramsey Snow. Oh man, sacrifice time. And Dagmar is not going to get to be around to steal any locations. Uh, it's going to be Dagmar. Dagmar gets a sack, goes to the discard pile. And he sacks Ramsey Snow. So Asha's alone. Ugh. I'm only at four power. And this reminds me of the turn, last turn with Euron out there with the dupe. Didn't last too long. I don't know what round we're on here, but uh, it's only so long before I run into his double marches again. But he's only at three power, so we're still early here. So he saves five gold, but Hoda's dead, which I'm commenting on there. So at least that's all right. He still can ambush in something, Dornish Spy, or still could have another Venomous Blade come in, but at least it can't hit anyone right now. So what can I do with Reigns here? Anything. Could kneel. Could just do a straight up military. Should just push challenges through is what I think. Take advantage. Stealth through his character. I still could ambush something in. What else can I do? 
Maybe I, get, I passed to him. Wow. Should have been looking for cards, I think. Use Nash's ability. I can use it on the defense, though, so that's all right. And can still get a reaction off her uh, ship there to draw if I uh, pillage off a location or attachment. Oh, so we still have two plots left, it looks like. He just looked at the bottom of his uh, deck thing there and uh, his unused plots and has two left. So we're in round five. So I still got some time before March comes back again. I should be okay. He does the next uh, Venomous Blade, just giving on the strength buff. And that gets him dominance with the gold and the strength on his standing characters. So we're tied at four. Looks like we started all over here. This looks like I got a Rise of the Kraken left there and a Bar in the Gates. Mm. Go aggressive with Rise of the Kraken. I just have to be able to play out something else. I mean, I got Flea Bottom, so I can get something else on the board there to help Osh out. And I do go Rise into Valor. So Osh is going to save herself, I'm sure. Sounds like I'm going first. Yeah, <laughs> I just said I hate his damn Ramsey Snows, and I feel them coming here. And I choose to go first. And we're going to kill. I save Asha. He kills his Dornish Spy, gets his Venomous Blades back to hand. And it looks like he drew into a uh, Frozen Solid there, so that would suck hitting my, gash, or, uh, my Flea Bottom that I stole from him. And I kneel the Sea Tower. He gets two gold off the fiefdoms. Well, that's the other reason I didn't want him to go. Uh, or I, I should have made him first, maybe. So he gets less gold with his fiefdoms and can't build up a board as easy. But And there's an Iron Mines. So that's something. Another Iron Mines, which is something. Just need another character. And a Dirk on... Oh god, I fiefed him during all that. And he gets another two gold off his fiefdoms. And Asha's alone. Oh man, come on. I guess I'm not drawn into characters here, which sucks. Or at least ones I can't play. It's a lot in my dead pile, so. so <laughs> play Frozen Solid on his own flea bottom. I feel good about that. Which sucks, though, because now I can't bring in anyone with my gold there. And he's going to throw Bran into play. But can he get a military icon on the table? I guess it doesn't matter. He has zero claim. What am I talking about? And that's all he's going to do. Sit on five gold. Pass it over to me. I feel like I should intrigue. I hit that hand. Oh, he's going to dupe his water gardens up. Whatever I do here should be unopposed, but he could have ambush. That's the problem. He's got five gold sitting there, so the unopposed bonus off the plot might not really come into effect here. Sucks that I can't get another character into play. Sucks that I've used my stand plot already, so I can't get two used out of Asha here. Oh, three minutes left, it says. Three minutes left, I think, in the round. So I'm debating power just to steal power from him. I want to kill Bran as though it's good. And I want to intrigue his hand, but this may be the last round here, so I need to go power. Yeah, power stealthing Bran. Seems like the, the safe play. Hopefully he doesn't ambush in a power icon. And it does go unopposed. And a weed or not so. On the frozen solid. Nice play. 
like a military. And he sacks Bran to stop that. And I steal a gold uh, with the Corsair's Dirk. I get the unopposed and get the extra unopposed off the plot. He decides to say, I don't get two power on claim with uh, a Vengeance for Elia, which makes sense. Six to four. And he uses Water Garden to pay for Vengeance for Elia, whatever. He gets the money back, which, uh, yeah, that's something for dominance. Pillage is Avaris. <laughs> and we're trying to go to the next round, trying to hurry up here. Oh, Actually, yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Asha's ability slows the play down, but I'm honestly not trying to play slow. I'm trying to play really fast here. I never like it just so playing. I always want to get to the next round. I just don't care. I love I love the game to finish the proper way. Especially when there's only like one character on each player's board. The round shouldn't go that long. But Asha's stupid ability is super slow. Freaking adding search, adding shuffling. Like As the game goes on, it just slows down the game even worse. Yeah, they should have just made it so the cards go on the bottom of the deck after. Not shuffling. Yeah, character is what I should be grabbing. And Dominus to him. He wants to get to go another round also. Although I would just win here. His top four it would eliminate him. But I don't want to win like that. I'm not like that. I don't care. And I play Barn the Gates into his trade routes. So he's going to get a crap ton of money, even worse than I did last round. And so he's going to be able to play anything he needs here, but hopefully I get something I can play. And he chooses me to go first, which is interesting. And yeah, now we feel like, yeah, this will be the last round for sure, so no rush here. And he's going to get his 17 gold off of his trade routes. Draw two cards. And hopefully he's got no way to stop me from staying ahead on power here. So we get Victorian on the board, using the C Tower and some cash. And he just concedes, because he drew into, I think he's got a Dornish Spider and a dead Arion, and that's the only characters he could play. So with power challenges, Renown, yeah, there's no way he could win it there, being the last round. So he concedes. Thanks a lot, Kevin, for playing on camera and the game. And I'm going to move on to the finals. Stay tuned for the other top four game coming up on the channel, and the finals after that, plus Canadian Nationals coverage, plus... Millennium Games, Rochester, New York, Sword Championship coming up on the channel. Stick around for that. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you in the next one.